What's going on, guys? It's Ryan here with Michigan Storm Chasers, back again for our daily forecast video we do every single day on YouTube. We're going to start doing it to Facebook now as well to see how it does. So if you guys are watching over on Facebook, if you like this content, smash the like button for me so we know if you guys want more of this on our Facebook. But otherwise, you can find these daily forecast videos every day around noon or so over on our YouTube channel. Link will be in the comments below. Otherwise, go ahead and jump right on in. We have a very pleasant day upcoming here for our Tuesday, September 10th. High temperatures across the state will be right around that 80 degree mark from top to bottom. UP down to the border of Indiana, Ohio, over the Canadian border. Looking at low 80s, perhaps right around the 80 degree mark. Maybe creeping into the mid 80s the further south you go. But otherwise, low 80s will be the norm today. The humidity with this will be quite low as well. With exception to the UP, a little bit higher humidity levels up there, but otherwise right around that 30 to 40% mark for our humidity it will be a very pleasant day outside. Get out, do some cooking or cookout, should I say. Get out, enjoy your activities, school activities, base, or not baseball, but football rather. Uh, get out there, enjoy your practices. It's a very pleasant summertime here in Michigan. So outside of that, we do have one area to monitor for perhaps some rain, maybe maybe a rumble of thunder. Up in the UP, the SPC does have the entirety of the UP in a general thunderstorm category. So no severe is expected, but there might be just enough instability up there to, to warrant the mention of a rogue thunderstorm. Looking at the forecast model here for the future radar, we're looking at a few areas to watch, mainly later this afternoon in the evening time frame, right around that 5, 6 o'clock. We see these little cells here, showers, nothing too major. They're going to form there. They pop up and push eastward through the UP, but also perhaps up there in northwestern lower Michigan as well, toward like Traverse City, Manistee, Sheboygan, those areas could see a shower or storm pass through later this evening after that 6 p.m. time frame into like that 10 p.m. time frame or so. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. These shouldn't last long, should not be major concerns either. Looking at the long-term forecast here, temperatures will warm into the midweek, 83 tomorrow, 85 for that Thursday time frame, then back down into the weekend, 83 and then low 80s. And then we get to Monday, it has a 74 stat there. Based out of Lansing here, so a general consensus across the central part of the state, we should see pretty similar uh, similar trends and statistics here across majority of lower Michigan. So expect a little bit of a warm up here and then back down for the weekend into the low 80s, perhaps high 70s. So very pleasant week. Rain chances do appear highest this weekend with the tropical depression, tropical system kind of moving up our way. It's still uncertain if we're going to get rain from that, though. Right now, we're kind of leaning more of a drier solution. But we're going to watch it close. If there's going to be any rainmakers, it's going to be toward the end of the week time frame centered around that weekend. Now, last topic of discussion will be the Aurora. We do have potential for Aurora tonight. A G2 watch is in effect, as we see here for tonight. We see that big old G2, the orange box here. Then tomorrow, we also have a G1 and again a G2 for Thursday night. So potential two, perhaps three nights of aurora potential here with incoming energy we call them coronal mass ejections or cmes they get launched from the sun towards earth when it hits earth and interacts it can not always but it can cause aurora the expected arrival tonight would be right around the 3 p.m to roughly 10 p.m time frame somewhere between that window most forecasts have although we here at msc do think it's going to be a little bit later perhaps after the sunset towards the middle of the night time frame so there's potential tonight it's just a matter of when now when that hits we're going to know what we're kind of going to expect because up until that point it's just a forecast aurora is very fickle we don't know specifics as far as timing and strength just yet our data points in space are not very um advanced enough like we can forecast tornadoes and severe weather we can't do that the same for space weather so take with a grain of salt potential is there but it's never a guarantee. And also just kind of communicating the level of storm. We're talking G2 equivalent to KP6. You guys may be talking, well, what does that mean? Well, we made a map here to kind of communicate what level storm we need to view it here in Michigan. So for a KP4 level storm, not technically a storm officially, that starts at G1 level, but KP4 levels will be seen in the UP more than likely. We reached that KP5, that's equivalent to a G1, your lowest level of storm possible. That means Aurora can be viewed in the green zone, but also that yellow zone down to around Mount Pleasant. 
And then the G2 KP6 we have tonight can be seen down into the red zone as well as the green and yellow zones if we can get it to be strong enough. So again, we're never going to know until we get to it. So it's just a potential until we see a more uh, consistent data. At that point, we start sending out those alerts and those posts on Facebook and such. Speaking of alerts, we do offer Aurora alerts now if you guys are interested. I'll drop the link in the comments below. It's also scrolling on the bottom of your screen there, patreon.com slash forward slash Michigan Aurora alerts. What that basically is, is a way that you guys can sign up for alerts. It costs $1 per month sent directly by us here at MSC. Whenever the Aurora is visible in Michigan, south of Mount Pleasant, you will send those alerts out. I know Aurora happens a lot in the UP. We're not going to always send those alerts out. It's just a faint show in the UP, but the more vibrant shows that we see, we'll send those alerts out, get you guys notified that you guys can go out and see those. So feel free to sign up. Completely optional. All posts that we normally do on Facebook will remain. This is just a way for you to say, hey, I want those alerts. I want those emails as soon as the Aurora is out so you can know it's optional. Feel free if you guys wish. With that being said, enjoy the day. One last shout out here, Cats Roofing and Siding sponsors our YouTube videos here, as well as us here at MSC. They are based out of Lansing and Battle Creek. They do roofing, siding, windows, and gutters. Feel free, give them a call. Tell them that Michigan Storm Chaser sent you, 517-485-9886. You will not regret your call at all. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video so we know if you want more videos of, like this on Facebook. And these videos are uploaded all the time on YouTube, so feel free to go subscribe. I'll drop the links for the Aurora alerts as well as our YouTube channel and Cast Roofing and Siding in the comments below. You guys have a great day. Enjoy the weather. It's going to be a very pleasant week out there in this September here in Michigan.